So, continuing my collection of video reviews for the Assassin's Creed franchise, I thought of going back even further to review Assassin's Creed Black Flag to see how well it stacks up in 2021 and if it's still worth it. What's up everyone and welcome to a new video, my name is Omar with Real Gamer Review and today we are reviewing Assassin's Creed Black Flag, almost 8 years after its release. If you are watching my channel for the first time, a like and a subscribe would be hugely appreciated. Assassin's Creed Black Flag is an action-adventure video game developed by Ubisoft Montreal and published by Ubisoft. Black Flag was first released for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Wii U in October 2013, and a month later for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows. It was released on the Nintendo Switch as a part of the Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection alongside Assassin's Creed Rogue in December 2019. This time around, Ubisoft takes us back to the golden age of piracy. The game features three main cities, Havana, Kingston, and Nassau, which reside under Spanish, British, and pirate influence. The story itself starts with you playing with the character Edward Kenway, which is, yes, related to Haytham Kenway and Connor from Assassin's Creed 3, but I won't be giving any more info for the sake of spoilers. You start the game with Edward, which is a pirate, as you might have guessed. During the story, you will unravel a conspiracy between high-ranking Templars within the British and Spanish empires as the Templars and the Assassins are searching for a secret place that belonged to the first civilization, which is the backstory for most of the Assassin's Creed games. Again, I won't give any more details about the story for the sake of spoilers, but overall, the story in this installment is pretty good. The gameplay itself is similar to the old Assassin's Creed installments when it comes to the player movement and assassinations. Pretty similar to Assassin's Creed 3, but with a few small extras. The missions as well features a lot of the old-style Assassin's Creed missions like assassinations, eavesdrop, and following missions, infiltrating places stealthily, and many more. In addition, of course, to naval missions this time around. The game also features around 50 individual locations to explore, including atolls, sea forts, mine ruins, sugar plantations, and underwater shipwrecks. There are tons of things to do in this game, it has a more open world feel, with missions similar to those found in other Assassin's Creed installments, as well as fewer restrictions to the player. The game world opens up sooner in the game as opposed to Assassin's Creed 3, which had very scripted missions and did not give players freedom to explore until the game was well into its first act. During the campaign and gameplay, you will encounter jungles, forts, ruins, and small villages, and the game world is actually built to allow players much more freedom. Such as allowing players to engage, board, and capture passing ships, and swimming to nearby beaches in a seamless fashion. In addition, the hunting system has been retained from Assassin's Creed 3, allowing the player to hunt on land with resources gathered used to upgrade equipment using the crafting system. The game also has one of the best naval gameplay introduced in an Assassin's Creed game. You will be captaining the Jagdaw, the Jagdaw is upgradable through the game and is easily accessible to the player when needed. In addition, a new underwater exploration has been added. It is a bit restricted, but still a pretty good addition. You have access as well to a spyglass, allowing the examination of distant ships, along with their cargo and strength. It can also help determine if an island still has animals to hunt, treasures to find, high points to reach for synchronization, or additional side quests to complete, such as assassinations and naval contracts. The list of things you can do in this game is long. A few examples are looting, capturing and destroying forts, having naval battles and boarding and capturing ships, selling the cargo steel from other ships, building a fleet of ships and sending them on missions, harpooning whales on sharks, and more. So for this particular installment, probably you won't be out of things to do in the game easily, and till date, I think that this game is one of the best Assassin's Creed installments when it comes to the gameplay part. 
Coming to the graphics and visuals part, I would say that Black Flag still looks good in 2021 from a visual perspective, but of course compared to the newer Assassin's Creed installments, it looks a bit dated. Especially if you are playing it on consoles. Most of the footage in this video is captured on PC. Here's a quick look at the footage from the Xbox Series X, which is being played through the backwards compatibility. The game never got any visual updates on the consoles since the PS4 and Xbox One versions release or even a remastered version. Ubisoft decided to remaster Assassin's Creed Rogue. Don't get me wrong, Rogue is a good game, but I think that Black Flag definitely deserved the remastered version more than Rogue. So in conclusion for the graphics and visuals part, I would say it still looks good and very much playable in 2021, even on consoles. Coming to the music and audio part, Ubisoft as always does a great job when it comes to this part. And in this installment especially, it was even better due to the sheer amount of different things that you can do in this game. I won't be able to share any music of course due to copyrights, but I can tell you that it has a few pretty good soundtracks that you'll definitely enjoy. As for the game audio, I'll leave you with a few clips to judge it yourselves. Hey! Hold a moment, squire! Despite this game being released almost 8 years ago, and although it added a lot of new features and expanded the naval part of the game big time, which was a bit risky at the time, but Ubisoft managed to create one of the best installments of the series with all the new additions while keeping the core essence of the Assassin's Creed franchise that we all loved. So the game in 2021 is definitely still worth it and I would recommend for anyone that never played this game before to go pick it up right now. Even if the game looks slightly outdated on the consoles, but still, you are going to get a pretty fun and awesome experience that you will enjoy while playing it. Alright, time to wrap this up, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, then leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.